It is the fourth and final day of MAGFest, and I am with the Northern Virginia and DC Venture Captain, Nicholas Ruklevich. All right, so we're here to talk about Pathfinder and maybe Starfinder. So you used to play video games as well as tabletop games. Did one start before the other, or was it just like a simultaneous uh, love? That, that's a good question. I um, I always joke, I'm like an old man. Back in my day, you used to make fun of for playing D&D. So in the early 90s, I started playing uh, Dungeons & Dragons, uh, uh, advanced D&D. I know what that go means. Um, and I played that, and it was really hard to find players. It was really hard to find live people to play. And then at some point, there was a... A neat game came out that was called EverQuest, a massive multiplayer game. I played that, then I ended up jumping to Warcraft. And for me, that was a way to kind of get a, a fantasy feel, but it really, for me, lacked, it, it lacked social ability because I was talking to people all the time online, but it wasn't an interactive. So I, um, I'm a World of Warcraft survivor, so I appreciate the you know support group. Um, but I went into tabletop RPGs again, and I really wanted to just do it to get out of the house and do what I could. Um, and through that, I've been able to kind of help uh, myself uh, go further and further and enjoy it. When you get to go into a, a, an environment like this, you get to interact with uh, players and new people, and it really can build cool friendships and camaraderie, and that's something that is something you can't really get necessarily for any online or any you know, type of uh, digital media. So what is Pathfinder? How would a person start playing it? And what is the objective of it? Gotcha. Well, Pathfinder is what's called a, a tabletop role-playing game. Um, very, um, everything similar to your typical old-school Dungeons & Dragons. Um, it is a game where you choose a character, and through that character you have adventure. So, like, this is uh, the fighter, uh, Valros, and... So all these characters, some of these characters are seen in front of me, they're all um, Paizos, they create something called uh, pre-generated characters, so if people want to just come up, pick up and play. Um, it involves um, the cool dice that have all the different sides, it's called a D20 system, a 20-sided dice, and based on the dice roll is how you will uh, succeed. The goal of the game is for your party, other players, to work together for a common goal. Um, the goal is uh, generally to defeat someone, stop some kind of evil, or just help people, uh, help characters. Uh, in the game, there can be two to you know, s six players mainly, um, and uh, as a dungeon master, um, game master, we try to help provide a story and help provide a, a fun environment. It's my job to challenge the players, but it's also my uh, goal to help them you know, in creative situations and help uh, build some banter. So you were talking about organized play before. Do you think that games like this can bring people together and to focus? So I, um, I have a lot of uh, good, good memories and, and great uh, op opportunities from organized play. So organized play is, um, it's, uh, I mean, Paizo organized play is, and normally I have a, my, my fancy t-shirt with my name and the logo. But uh, Paizo Organized Play uh, is, a, um, is, a, is a volunteer organization that is literally around the around globe. And we have venture officers and uh, people in uh, all states and many countries that help provide a gaming opportunity for people in live play. Uh, what Organized Play does is you register for free, you get to play, and when you play a character, it lives in a world, the more you do, the, it grows in level, you can get experience, you get these little things called chronicle sheets and stuff to kind of tell your character's story. Um, what it does is it allows you to um, be part of something bigger and socialize. So I went through a really uh, rough time in multiple times in my life. Um, I went through a, a divorce and I never, I never heard of organized play and I was just walking somewhere and they said, oh, we're playing Pathfinder. I was like, oh, I know what that is, I'll play organized play. I had no idea what it was, but what it did for me was it forced me, instead of trying to stay in and isolate after a hard time, I pushed myself to go out and meet with people. And that's the most important part is building a community. And now, especially, we all went through 
a horrible situation, the only time that in the world that everybody's going through a struggle at once. And through that, I really learned more that getting out and doing this is, is, mainly, is extremely helpful for people's mental health to be able to be part of it. I joke that it only took 40 years to get out of our parents' basement. It just took a pandemic to drive us back in. So we're trying to do what we can to get out. And um, the world's suffering and left and right. And what we are doing, what I, my big goal is, and what uh, Paizo's goal is too, is to help, they call it FLGS, Family Local Game Stores. What we try to do is bring people, players, into stores. We want to help support them. Uh, financially and help support them by giving a, a safe place for people to play. Uh, Paizo, we are very uh, inclusive. We welcome all uh, types, orientations, and, and people as long as they are ready to have fun and we help create a, a good and safe environment. Uh, organized play is big at uh, Gen Con and different conventions. We're at MAGFest. Uh, Paizo helps sponsor this, which means we get little gift certificates and stuff like that to help give out to players as, as rewards for thanking them to play the game. So with organized play, again, getting people uh, comfortable with getting out and trying new opportunities, this also helps, again, uh, with the family local game stores, FLGS. What Paizo has done is they've created a retail incentive, so when people spend money in stores, people gather in stores. They want to benefit the store, plus they want to benefit the game. It gives you opportunities and different benefits from Pathfinder to Starfinder. And in conventions, they do it as well. Um, I run probably about, I help run organized play for about four to five conventions. And one really cool thing I started in 2017, just as a whim, I did um, a big game day. So Pathfinder um, has what's called multi-table specials, where there's like three to 150 tables coming together for a common goal, and they do this goal together. Well, in 2017, I threw something together for a group, and they had a great time, but I threw it together for the charity uh, Toys for Tots. We did a bunch of toys. 2018, we did it again, and even more. 2019, huge amount of toys. It was crazy. We ended up having uh, six tables, everybody working together. Uh, fantastic. Well, we obviously know a pandemic happened in 2020, uh, really created a, a big, a hard way for us to gather. But through that, we kept persevering and um, we did something a little smaller in 20, uh, last year, but this year, well, 2022, we did a, Paizo worked with uh, myself and we grew the Toys for Tots program. What we did was we did this multi-table special. We used the wonderful platforms we have in media. We used Twitch. We had a, a person on Twitch that helped be what they call the overseer. We had tables across the country working together. So we work with 13 local game stores across the country from Washington State to Virginia to create this neat environment. And what it did was it allowed people to come in, uh, people to buy you know goods from the stores to help donate, and it also helped a charity. And that's important because I think that we need to come together and help each other and what a great way of doing it than having fun and doing this. And the more people have the opportunity to say, hey, I can do more and have fun doing it, nothing's gonna be better for everybody. And I'm, I'm grateful to be able to help grow something and um, hopefully next year it grows bigger. And, and we generate about $5,500 in toys across all the, loca all the areas. And that's pretty fantastic. And just think about all the you know, little kids that'll have fun and just because we decided to play games. And again, it helps our stores and it helps bring positivity to something in, in some dark times.